Hello there. Hi, my name's Dr. Sandu, one of the junior doctors. Uh, can I get your name? Tom Smith. Tom Smith. And what's your date of birth, Tom? The 1st of January, 1998. Okay. Well, Tom, I've been asked to examine the nerves of your lower leg. Mm -hmm. uh, that would involve testing your power, sensation, reflexes, coordination, taking you through a few movements. And I'll talk through each step as we go through. Would that be okay? Yeah, that's fine. Great. I'm just going to go and wash my hands and then I'll be back in a second, okay? Perfect. So Tom, I'm going to lie you flat for this examination. Are you okay lying flat? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so just that's great. So if you just sit forward for a second. Good, and just lie yourself back for me. Okay. Are you in any pain at the moment? Uh, no. Okay. So just having a look for any obvious uh, muscle wastage for circulation. Can't see any tremors. Can't see any abnormal movements. Okay, fine. Good. Tom, I'm just going to test your uh, tone. So yeah. just let me know if you have any discomfort, okay? So looking for any clonus. Can't see anything there. Just rest your leg for me. Let me take all the weight and just keep it nice and relaxed, okay? So knee flexion, knee extension, hip flexion. Okay, good. Taking it down. Dorsiflexion, plantar flexion, toe movement, sorry. Okay, good. Same on this side. Just let us know if you have any pain. Okay, so we're taking the knee, hip flexion. Knee flexion, knee extension, okay. Plantar from dorsiflexion, plantar flexion, in the toes, that looks fine, good. Next, we're gonna move on to testing your power. Tom, I'm gonna to get you to bring your knee up towards your chest for me, okay, yeah. so into that position, and just hold it there and push your uh, knee towards your chest, and I'm gonna push against you, okay? Good, try and straighten out this part of your knee, good. Try and bring your heel towards your bottom, so push back. Good, perfect. Uh, just straighten your leg there for me. Good. I just want you to try and push your big toe against my finger. Good. And now push your foot back against my hand. Good. Push your foot down into the bed. Good, okay. I'd just like you to try and push both of your legs out to the side. Good. Try and push them together. Good, fantastic. I'm gonna do the same on this leg. So I'm just gonna take you into that position. Try and bring your knee towards your chest, pushing against my hand. Good. Try and straighten out your knee. So push against my hand here. Good. Try and bring your heel towards your buttock. So again, good. And just straighten it out. I want you to try and push your toe against my finger. Good. Push this foot back against my hand. Good. And push your foot down into the bed. That's very good. So Tom, can you feel this? Yeah. Does that feel normal? Yes. So I'm just gonna gently stroke you on either side of your leg. Mm -hmm. uh, just let me know if it feels the same on both sides. And obviously if there's anything wrong, just let me know, okay? That's fine. So does this yeah. feel the same as this? Yes. Good. Does this feel the same as this? Yeah. Good. Does this feel the same as this? Yes. Good. Does this feel the same as this? Yep. Good. Does this feel the same as this? Yes. Good. Uh, last but not least, just behind here, does this feel the same as this? Yes. Good. Okay. Do the same with a pinprick uh, and also with the um, sharp end if we need to, but we won't do it at this stage. So we're going to move on to your uh, proprioception. So Tom, yep. if this is bent, and this is straight. Can you tell me if your big toe is bent or straight? Bent. Okay. And what about on this side? Is your big toe bent or is it straight? Straight. Good. I'm going to test your proprioception. So, Tom, can you feel this vibration here? A little, yes. Good. Can you tell me when it stops? Now. Good. Can you feel this, Tom? Yes. And can you tell me when it stops? Now. Good. Okay. I'm going to test your coordination, Tom. So I'd like you to lift your heel and place it onto your knee here and just slide your foot down your leg, lift it off, put it back on there and just do that as quickly as you can for me. Good. Good, okay. And just swap over and just place this heel onto that knee there, slide it down and do that as quickly as you can. Good. 
Fantastic, good, and just relax there for me. Okay, Tom, just straighten your legs into that position. I want you to just tap against my hands as quickly as you can, as if you're pushing a pedal. Good, fine. So Tom, just gonna test your reflexes, okay? So just going to slide your leg, just keep it nice and relaxed for me. Good. We'll just slide this into here, Tom. Okay, and just keep your leg nice and relaxed, okay? Good. Okay, okay, good. 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 So as you can see now, the doctor is stroking the lateral aspect of the plantar side of the foot and then curling inwards on both sides. Normally you get a flexure response of the toes. In a positive Babinski response, the great toe will extend. For completion of the cerebellar exam, the doctor will now ask the patient to do some heel to toe walking. This is gonna test their cerebellar system and their balance. And you can see that the patient is being asked to walk from one side of the room to another. To finish off, it's important that you do test the patient's balance and proprioception using the Romberg's test. Place their feet together like this and you are looking for any swaying from the midline position. And this is a lateral view. So again, you can see that this patient is absolutely fine. He's not swaying from side to side. Mm -hmm.